In Barcelona, a group of parents cycle to school with a large group of children every day. Paris closes school streets to cars around the time the school bell rings. Etta eliminated a kiss and ride at a school, doubling the size of the schoolyard. Why do we accept that our children are being deprived of the street? The street is something we share, a public space, just like the air or language, and we need to give it meaning together, says Professor Marco Te Bramolstroet. What values do we consider important in a just street? Not long ago, streets served multiple purposes. They were spaces between houses where people met, children played, and everyone went about their business. However, since the introduction of cars, our perspective shifted towards prioritizing individual convenience from point A to B. This narrative has dominated our street planning for a century, leading to larger cars and faster bikes. Should heavy trucks be allowed to navigate busy streets at any time? Marco proposes a different narrative one where public space belongs to everyone, allowing children to safely play and people to meet, making pedestrians equal to cars. He argues that the current state is not inevitable, but a choice, one that costs more than we realize, with traffic accidents claiming lives daily. In Ida, a proposed school design prioritized parking over playground space. Questioning this, Marco campaigned for a larger playground, which was eventually realized, showing community support for safer, more inclusive public spaces. Examples like the Bisibus in Barcelona, where parents and children cycle together to school daily, and the establishment of school streets in Paris and The Hague showcase successful initiatives towards reclaiming the streets for the community, especially children. The story emphasizes the importance of community action and questioning norms to create safer, more child-friendly urban environments.